<laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Sooner or Later podcast. I'm your host, Joey. And this week, we have special guest coming off of maternal bing, bing, bing. leave for yeah. this one in, once in a lifetime review. We got we got Alex, the mother of horror, back, everybody. Alex. Hi. Ooh. Welcome back. Um, you got me for 20 minutes. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I, you know what? You know what that means? A lot more Fortnite Lego, baby. Yeah, buddy. All right. Girl, why are you back? Because I guilt tripped these guys into watching. Not guilt tripped them. I demanded it. Yeah, there's it no was, guilt. It was guilt trippy. Felt, yeah, why this film guilt. in particular, though? Yeah, you know? why this film in particular is a great question. Uh, for two reasons. It was the very first movie that I ever watched by myself. Movie theaters. Don't look at me. You look at this. He, oh, that's interesting. He forced me to go to the movies by myself. Damn. Mm. So, and forced you is a crazy way of putting that, bro. <laughs> From what I heard, he tied you down and put you in his trunk. Yeah, you know, <laughs> drove you to the movie. <laughs> yeah, and then tied you to the seat when you got there. Held her eyes wide open and shit. Uh, and then said, "See oh, no, you." It's all all one word. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, I just think the page was amazing. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna put this into perspective. Uh, I didn't make her do anything. We couldn't find anybody to watch the babies, so I said, you go see it, because she was like, I really want to see it. You go see it, and then you come home and you tell me if I should go see it. And she said, oh, you should go see go this. Go see it. Well, it was so funny, because I went into this movie knowing nothing about it. I just knew the title. Yep. I didn't even know it was a Nicolas Cage movie until yep. I saw him appear in the first, like, two Oh, and boy, does he. It's so quick, though. Yeah. Really, I mean, I knew because I knew anyway. this movie because of the marketing. Uh, yeah, that's the only reason she wanted to see it. Yeah, yeah. was all the marketing. Marketing was strong on it. Like they were playing like high. a lot, but we've oh. also watched a lot of horror movies, so we were getting those like stuff strong. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, um, and then Marcus did... what? sneezed on my dog. Oops. Oops. <laughs> she shouldn't have been there. Um. So apparently, there was an ARG with this movie as well. An ARG oh, is an augmented reality game. So what oh. they do is they leave trails for like websites you should go to and like phone numbers you should call. And there was mm. a phone number that was laced throughout multiple like um, oh. trailers. And if you called it, it would be the scene where like Nicolas Cage is like whispering to her or whatever and like saying weird stuff when they're in the interview room. And like you just got it over your phone, it's it was scary. You oh, might actually yeah, I don't still, like that. I don't want to hear that. You, you might actually still be able to call it. Let, I'll, it I'll look it up, up and I'll I'll try to call it while we're while we're in the in the chat here. But yeah, like the ARG was cool. We watched like a three hour long YouTube video about the ARG. It was in depth, bro. It was very in depth. Oh, okay. So it was really well done. The I ARG. Just the movie. And we all, we only found out about that after watching the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so we dove deep into it. Yeah. But, uh, James, you've been making some very cryptic statements before Alex got on. <laughs> How do you feel about this movie, dude? He's baiting us. He is baiting us. Break my heart. It, so, this movie's called Long Legs? Yeah. Yep. It should be called Medium Legs. Oh, wow. No, mid no. Legs? <laughs> mid, mid Legs. legs. <laughs> That's crazy. He you think this movie's is... mid? No. Hold on. I, Stop. I thought it He's was... He's saying the I, movie sucked. Catch I thought up. it was boring. You thought it was boring? It was boring? It was yeah. Boring. What? Well, yeah. the thing is, well, I mean, what's your headspace going into the movie, though? What did all the marketing over-hyped. tell you to believe? No, it was, we overhyped it in the chat. Uh, I was expecting more like um, Signs of the Lambs. And, <laughs> I've never like, seen that. What? Um, this is kind of so, Silence <laughs> of the Lambs light, though. That's a, that's what, that is what but this that's is. But that's my issue, though. Yeah. Light. But bro, so I'm, you can't you can't do Silence of the Lambs again, you know. They could have. I would have enjoyed that more. Um, You're correct. I I just think like the the so the the character itself, like in 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 like the interactions and stuff you see in the trailer, you think it's gonna be more like uh, talk about Lee Harker. Yeah, no. but, are you talking about it, Long Legs? No, 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 uh, Lee. You're talking about Lee. So okay. I thought you were gonna do more. Th- th- this movie has a lot of staring at each other and a lot of like i don't really care for the dialogue a lot of it what um, yeah i don't know i just feel like it's just, it's just missing something it, it feels like half measures 
It was not but like what was it, it missing? I'm so yeah. curious what would you would have added. Silent, what did Silence of the Lambs or what was the movie you said? Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lamb. Did you just need to see Nicolas Cage bite someone's face off? That'd be crazy. Um, but what I think she needed to like, she, she wasn't really like chasing down the, the characters enough for me. I wanted her to really like go after Nick Cage and that doesn't Bro, she was really doing happen. some real detective work, man. I mean, she did really as much as she man. could. Yeah, she was doing yeah. everything she could. I think the the black phone did this like kind of thing a little better as well. No like, this whole way. Black phone no was trash, way. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, black I, phone was not trash. <laughs> but if we're gonna okay. call something mid, the black phone comparative to this is mid. Black phone is also <laughs> mid. I, I'm not saying it's great. I just think they're about the same. No way, you, bro. Yeah. What? Did you guys review the? No, we didn't. Mm-mm. You're talking to them. Just look at us. them and talk to them. You could see. Look at me. That's me right there in this, in this screen. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't review it because I know I saw it. I think Eric saw it. You know, too. we yeah, all saw, saw it. it. We all saw it passively and just decide. I don't think anybody brought it up. There were other movies that were more alluring. And you know what? Yeah. Also, Black Phone, also written by Joe Hill. That's uh, Stephen King's son. Mm-hmm. So, like, oh. I mean, I thought the idea behind it was pretty great. I just think the execution yeah. could have been better. You yeah. know, we're making a Black Phone too. Um, Might be better. But I think, though, too, like, with, I, I don't know if I needed more action, but I just needed more something. It felt, like, melodramatic. Oh, no, that's a phone call. We're going to die. Dude, it's going to be the, we're going to die in seven days, dude. Stop. There she is. Oh, hell no. <laughs> What's your name? Little angel? <laughs> nice to meet you. Bruh, I'm gonna go to sleep and then there's gonna be like a demon. I don't like that. That's kind of sexual. It's weird. <laughs> Super sexual. Nah. I'll be waiting. And then he hangs nah, up on man. you. And he hangs Cage up is on wild you. for that. It's hot, Psycho. bro. It's so good. Yeah. That's not even the best Nicolas Cage acting in the movie, though. But okay, so James, you just thought it was underwhelming then. You thought there wasn't yeah. enough action? See, and I, I think, I wish Nick Cage, too, was a little less, like, I, I wanted him, because I could hear Nick Cage, and I could, like, see Nick Cage. Mm-hmm. I wanted more of it to be, like, I can't tell this is Nick Cage. Oh, you wanted him and to slip more into the character. More grotesque. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I, I, I thought the amount of Nick Cage we got was perfect. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. In this movie, I wanted him. Yeah, I, I didn't want. I didn't want really want Nick Cage. I wanted him to like be the character. So, really interesting that you say that though. Uh, he is of course going to be Nick Cage no matter what. He'll never For be sure. able to break that. Yeah. So he actually was giving an interview and he talked about how he got into character and he said that he used his mother's battle with Alzheimer's as a way to or dementia to slip mm. into the character. Because he was like, the way that she would talk and act, I, I use that because that's essentially what this guy is going through. Is he's mm-hmm. seeing this thing, this other creature, this otherworldly presence around him and talking to it and doing crazy shit for it. And he's like, so I just basically em- emulated my mother in that moment. So his mother was crazy. She had dementia. <laughs> that's textbook crazy. I mean, clinically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Killing yeah. little kids with dumb. Well, No, dummy. Come nah. on. <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Big spoiler. Oh, are we not spoiling? It says currently spoiling. Yeah, but we're only eight minutes in. Maybe, Typically, yeah, we, we do like ten minutes. Anymore. Ten minutes spoiler free. <laughs> ten latter half. Ten minutes. It's been out forever. You should have seen it. Already. Hasn't been out forever. Hold on. Forever is been out for like two months. <laughs> yeah, but we um, might as well get into it. I mean, well, now we are, I guess. So, <laughs> James, did you see all the demons? Were you keeping what track you of the demons? So yeah, throughout the film, there's like 16 spots where he shows up. See, maybe it's because mm. you weren't watching it hard enough. Yeah. Okay. I've seen this movie did, twice, and you didn't watch it hard enough either yeah, time. I saw new demons in this viewing. So wait, so you didn't? So you had to have seen the last one, right? Where where the devil appears in the doorway. Shit, I wasn't watching Bro, as well you were then. looking at your phone, Bro. man. I know you were it's looking just, at your phone. It was boring. He playing in no. the background while he played games. See, this motherfuckers like you is why you should be forced yeah. to go to a cinema to watch a fucking movie. Exactly. Because this, 
I didn't even watch it in a cinema. I locked my phone in the in the mm-hmm. chest underneath the the coffee table. We don't have that. And I was like, I'm in. We do have a chest underneath the coffee table. You didn't lock your phone in there. I did lock it. No, I locked didn't. it right mentally. Um, and I she was keeping, locked in. At the yeah, day. I did lock in. I I locked in. Um, and no, so there's ten different times right where the demon who is having long legs do all the shit yeah. shows up. And it's like in the background, it's in reflection, it's all this crazy shit, right? I, you just might not have been watching the movie hard enough. You know, you know who Which, did that better? Tar and uh, Knock at the Cabin. What? <laughs> Tar has those weird like like scenes, the horror scenes, and Knock at the Cabin has the angel things. Yeah, but. Tar didn't mean to be a horror movie. We yeah. decided on that. It, it, it wasn't. I, it I feel like it was. <laughs> no, it was an ARG movie first yeah. with a stupid fake book. But like, I don't know. I, this movie just does like neo noir detective really, really well. I I love Lee. Lee's character is so fire. She's never made. Nobody's ever made me more proud to be slightly autistic than Lee did. Because I was like, bro, I'm locked in. That's crazy. Yeah, I, Go ahead. I do love this, like the eighties, like FBI, early like 90s. I said, noir. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's I, 90s, dude, like just, it's just that 90s. setting alone, I'm in because mm-hmm. uh, Bill was in the background. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then, and then the FBI, like knowingly bringing in psychics, like dude. I'm like, oh. See, that part was hot when they. That's just said, interesting, though. When they just said, "Oh, you knew, you knew about where the killer was." You're a psychic now. <laughs> we just know you're a psychic. Come in. I have psychic. Yeah. Better than not psychic. <laughs> like, th- that whole concept is so fire. I- I'm surprised, like, do you just not like psychic stories or something? Like, was there something about this genre that you just didn't like? Because, like, you brought up Silence of the Lands, but that one is more real and, yeah, like, it's true. more like cop procedural. Right. True to life type yeah. shit. Maybe it was but I thought that's life. what this movie was supposed to be. Oh yeah, no. Then you came in with the wrong mindset. That's what yeah. that's what hurt you. Go ahead, girl. Maybe it was too like paranormal, not believable. You can talk louder. Um, Maybe it was too paranormal, unbelievable for him. No, I, mean, I get the, the demonic stuff though. Like I understand what they were going for. Yeah, it's like, not a deep movie. You yeah, don't have no. to be. You don't have to be yeah. a, a Rick Sanchez to understand. But like, if <laughs> yeah. you come in thinking that it's gonna be pure cop SVU shit. And then you come in and it ends up being like... I thought he was a serial killer that was also after her and was going to try to like kill her by the end of the movie. I which mean, is all the, true. Which did. is all true. Yeah. All those things yeah, are true. It, in different ways. Well, actually, no, he, he smashes it. his own head in. He doesn't even try to kill her. He kills himself before anything. No, but he, he ascended. Caught. He ascended. Yeah. Um, hey, honestly, though, if anybody tried to kill her, it was her own mother. Not she didn't try to kill her. She went in. She she got her. In the yeah. end, they got her. Cause I'm 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 putting everybody all in the same boat. Everybody under the under the devil, they're all the same guy. But no, I, the, in the end of the movie, I like. Uh, uh, you think there's a happy ending or no? No, 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 no. It is. Right? Most... She's she she's got because you yeah. hear it talking. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's yeah, got. she's she's fully in. I think she's just yeah. She's one of the demons. She becomes familiars. her mother. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Un unwittingly though, like she doesn't want to be. Oh, yeah. Like holding her, yeah. Like if she would have pulled that trigger, she would have been free. Yep, she was scared. That was the problem. Yeah. But like the I, twist but, reveal that the mom was the familiar as well. That she was hot. That was dog. cool though. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Like do that part. But like, uh, go ahead. Especially the way she went about it too, like being like this. Oh, like heavenly figure too. So it's like that's crazy. She's playing a I nun, mean, but she's doing demonic shit. It's hot. I instantly got weird vibes as soon as like because she, she was a hoarder. I got b- weird vibes from that. I take offense. I don't to that. know Go why. Ahead. I just did. Mm-hmm. I mean, she seems mentally ill. I thought that she and was then, just mentally ill. Yeah. And then that um sweater she had on uh, it gave me bad vibes, dude. It okay. gave me like <laughs> Manson vibes. I don't Eric, know. Eric is judging a woman's character by her sweater choice. <laughs> what does my What does my yeah, animal say about me? You're also giving bad Mr. vibes about yeah. that. That hers was like hand knit in like hippie manson vibes i don't know you're selling me on the sweater eric i don't know and then then at the beginning they like literally quoted rex like come on the whole movie he talks about rex as well though yeah 
Yeah. The one dude says, like, yeah. So like, I mean, go ahead. I was going to say, the marketing for me for this movie particularly was like the scariest thing you'll ever see in your whole life. Like, they were like, um, Lee Harker's BPM when she first saw Nicolas Cage was crazy high. To me, this wasn't the scariest movie. I don't think it's scary at all. That being said, it's unsettling. It's it's unsettling, and I think that's better for me personally. Yeah. Jump scares are for the fucking. Yeah, that's just for the trash. Dog. I don't want that. It I was more thriller esque, which I think is better for it. Right. Yeah. Jump scares. This movie would have been ass. I mean, they got us with the first jump scare with Nicolas Cage's character. That got me. He's a scary dude. Because like a loud note plays as you see him. Yeah. I mean, so the face is just not yeah unsettling, like, pleasant to the eyes. Yeah. And I was like alone in a theater with one other person. Yeah. Oh hell no. <laughs> That, and there was like a whole empty row like behind me. So I kept like And you can hear dude. And I, but I kept getting Mommy! scared. And I kept like looking back because I'm like it felt like someone was behind me, but there's Oh hell no. That's how I felt watching Terrifier and there was ten other people in the room with me, so I feel that. Um but like that's how you that's how everyone should have watched this movie. Anybody mm-hmm. who doesn't watch it that way, you you run the risk of like getting the ooh shiny and looking away for two seconds and like losing the whole vibe of the movie, you know? I think you need to watch it in like complete darkness alone. At 3 a.m. <laughs> no, See, you, could have thing, a, though, you could have a baddie with you as well. If in the VR. baddie's into scary shit, you know? But like. My thing though is if you have to do all that extra to make sure you really like enjoy the movie and like get the best of a movie. Is it really I don't think do I, mean, I personally don't I think don't you do. Have to. No, you don't have yeah. to. You have to. Yeah. If <laughs> James, you, you specifically. If you can't not look at yeah. your phone, then yeah, you got to do it that way. Yeah. But that's for every movie. I think every movie deserves mm-hmm. that because you got to give it the best chance. If you're not doing that for a movie, then you just don't care enough about the movie in the first place. And you know, if that's how you want to approach the movie, yeah. You know, you spent your stream East dollars on watching it that way. <laughs> yeah. But like, but I like bought the thing, it, so I was like, I got a lot sure, in, sure. you know? What is the general consensus on this movie? Pretty high, I want to say. Did you did you post the letterbox, Eric? You know that's the, yeah. one I, the only one I care about. Yeah, we... 3.4 uh, with 929,000 reviews. That's crazy. That's a lot bro. of reviews. That's crazy. 3.4. Only 3.4, though, huh? That's kind of low. I feel like. What, what are the other? One of the it's a 68%. Lower ones we've seen. 68%. It is one of the lower ones we've seen, other than yeah. Friday f- Part 4, but we know that that one sucked. It's had. That's a lot of people, though. Like, so that many is, people have seen this film. I, I need to... See, the Almost issue with that, with that many people, is it, oh, the demonic stuff, and is it people... The haters, bro. Yeah, that's the my haters. issue, because it's too many people. Um, but how many of them are like you, who are just like, bro, she was kind of boring. In. Is not but, good enough to keep my attention. Yeah, you know. Oh, so critics like this movie. Actually, the audience is not. Not really. Sixty-one percent. So honestly, it's, I think most people feel exactly just, like you do. Yeah, it, it's like me. it's either a quick yes or no. But I mean, this is kind of a critics movie, though. I'd argue it is. Yeah, it's critics like it though. It's kind of snobby. Critics is strong, and three hundred and seven reviews is strong. Yeah, but I like. Think- Go ahead. I wonder how many people like didn't actually fully understand it though. What's what is there not to understand? Like, no, a I lot know, of people me. may have not gotten the little like little uh, behind the like uh, not behind the scenes, but like uh, when you watch the movie behind the character stuff, I guess because like all the demons, all the little hints and stuff like that. Most people watch it probably just saying like, oh, surface okay. level. Sir, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So most people probably watch at service level, but the issue with that is it may help a movie on rewatching. But if most people don't enjoy it the first time, yeah, correct, yeah. Because like she says it, like the mom says it plain as English. Like I'm yeah. protecting you. Like when she first meets her, like for the first time, yeah. And you're like, oh wow, she yeah, she's she's a killer. <laughs> yeah, I mean they don't whole, whole they time. don't mince words. <laughs> Like yeah. towards the end of the movie, they should be telling you how it is. She just says it how it is. Yeah, they went. Yeah. There's a gold ball. And it's got a demon soul, but it's my soul. Like, yeah, yeah they just kind of walk you through it. And I totally get the mom's doing this shit so that they leave her daughter alone so she can grow up. Yeah, and, like, it, and it makes sense too. I don't yeah. think. I don't think. Yeah, from a from a character standpoint, as a father, mm-hmm. I don't disagree with her. If no, I don't I blame getting, the mom. If I was getting hogtied by an ugly Nicolas Cage, 
and and I offered myself to help them, and they were like, you know what, you and your daughter are safe. I'd be like, shit. Yes, I gotta I go gotta killing. Do. Yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. It's a hard day's night out here. I'm doing the yeah. damn thing. But like, yeah, I don't think it's that difficult to get. If somebody doesn't understand, then they truly weren't watching the film. They just were not locked in at all. And I think too, like uh, with the mom, which I thought was kind of funny though, when it's like, oh, she's up to no good because it's when everything's unraveling. She had hella drugs, <laughs> like oh, yeah. to like sedate people too. Oh yeah, so many drugs. <laughs> so he's up to something. So audiences are saying, led by a game, Nicolas Cage doesn't lead the film. So automatically, oh, I don't think, uh, I, like a game, he's in. Like, I'm game okay. for this, you know. Led by mm. a game, Nicolas Cage, long legs, long legs, threads, a dreadful and atmospheric web that, while at times derivative, captures enough creepy, weird chills to maintain suspense. <laughs> you know what? That sounds like a glowing review to me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That seems like the glaze in it. <laughs> this, this movie, though, seems like a six to seven to, like, m the general, like, consensus. Yeah. But obviously, there's 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 still a lot of people. You for it to, Thank you. For it to be that high, though, and hold that high, that means a ton of people still really like this movie, though. Because if not, this thing would be, it. like, a four or five. Yeah. Yeah, had to absolutely love it to, mm -hmm. to counteract the ones who are like, ah, I didn't love it. It's trash. Mm -hmm. Why did yeah. Nicolas Cage scream that song in the car? Yeah. Which is my favorite part of the film, by the way. Can but we talk about him part. going absolutely <laughs> ham, yelling about that little girl in the store? So, is there anything that you love about this movie? Me, James? personally? Yeah. Oh, I think, like, uh, the environment is really good. Like, I think the, the setting is very good. I think, like, them taking place in the 90s, and then also, too, just, like, uh, the detective noir feel to it. I like the way it's shot, like... But the actual like movie itself, I'm just I just felt underwhelmed. But like aesthetically, this movie is very pleasing. I mean, the vibes are through the roof on this yeah. movie. They set the vibes with the with the the cinematographer deserves a mm -hmm. fucking award for this film. And I believe the world they set up. Like it's not like oh, I'm yeah. watching this movie and like oh no, that's because sometimes movies like this, I'm like, well, that shit doesn't make any sense. But like this mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Um, mm -hmm. I just sort of even like, even okay. the the psychics. You think the psychics, yeah. like, in the world, it, like, doesn't break its own rules or anything? Mm-hmm. I yeah. vibe with that. Because, I mean, especially, too, we have a world where we have a uh, a serial killer killing people without being there, in a sense. Like, some Charles mm -hmm. Manson type stuff. Even but... you saying that, the setup is so hot, bro. Dude, that, yeah, that's yeah, so crazy. Hot. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to throw a theory out here that I just thought up here in my head okay. real quick. And let me know if they said it in the again? movie and it's just been too long and I just maybe okay. forgot about it. Okay. Are all the girls that they're getting psychics? I don't think they ever said. Like the FBI? No, like long legs. You think that they're so, going for psychic, no. little psychic girls specifically? No, it's just it anybody be... whose birthday is around. Yeah, but maybe oh, right, but that... that Something. That's what I'm saying, bro. What yeah. if they're specifically going for psychics and she's just so autistic that she was dodging them and her mom giving her soul to the devil also helped her dodge it a little bit? But, like, could that be why? Maybe. Where was like, her father? Gone. Yeah. Not Not around. I don't think they ever said anything. Because everyone it. else no. also, though, had, had a I father, did. right? Right. So maybe that's also why they're like, we can't get her, like, because there's no father. So she's let's let's amazing. trick her. Yeah, and tell her because they were never gonna get her. Right, but now let's tell her we. Or maybe, we, or maybe whatever demon wouldn't have been satiated because he couldn't also have a dad. You know. Yeah. Um, it is the same I demon mean, from the horror. From Amityville what? horror? No, 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 yeah. no. I th I feel like this demon has more of a plan. He's got dental. He got range. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, he does. Go ahead. Eric. I didn't get psychic vibes from the girl in the psych ward. She was creepy. Like did what she you? was saying, dude. I you was didn't like, get that oh. from Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I mean, she I felt possessed. She did feel possessed. <laughs> I mean, she kind of was, though, wasn't she? She said, I guess. if she wants me to, if they want me to kill you, I'm killing you. I'm yeah. smashing your face in. Yeah. Like, but not, I, I didn't get, like, said, but... vibes from her. Eric, at this point, Long Leds had done the thing, you know? Like, she's already in. She already drank the Kool-Aid, man. What kind of, yeah. what's she going to do? Be like, I'm talking to you through my mind. <laughs> 
They've got me. I'm, I'm compromised. But like, so you're saying if you're inherently psychic, you're inherently you can succumb to demons. No, what easier? I'm, no, anybody can succumb to demons. Yeah, I'd argue if you're a psychic, you probably have a better chance of not it. succumbing to yeah. demons. But that's also, it's also why they get them when they're young and right? before a certain age. See, me and James, we're on the same wavelength right now. Yeah. We're both we're both reading the deep subtext of the film. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think that would add like. Because the demon just going about it willy-nilly just because of a birthday, it kind of feels a little meh to me. But like Real mid. <laughs> I wouldn't say all that. But like them being also being psychic and like they feed more off of the psychicness, that's kind of hot to me. That'd be cool. And yeah. it kind of, and it, it fits the world, I think, you know, like this demon doesn't just seem like the type of fella to just be hanging around, doing whatever he feels yeah. like and having no rhyme or reason. Because the thing is, like, these people are targeted, right? Right. But it's like, but so what? Like, because right. mm-hmm. what do we, you know? We, what do we get out of targeting them? Exactly. Maybe some, maybe we'll, some, we'll, some we'll psychic brain in the In the Osgood Perkins uh, DVD commentary, man, we'll, we'll find out. We're just going to have to interview him. Osgood, if you're not a fucking coward, come on the pod. <laughs> we'll re-review your movie with you, brother. I mean, this movie... <laughs> A lot of bones, a lot of legs. Strong bones, I'd argue. Some strong legs. Strong legs. I mean, did it make a ton of money? We actually don't know how good the legs were. I actually it don't know. It had a 10 mil budget only, though, so it like, didn't need to make that much. It did not need was, to make that much. I was going to say earlier, Reddit had it with 8,000 votes and had, had a 6.88. So it matches up perfectly with Letterboxd. Yep. Almost everything is like in the 60s. It's six, kind of weird. Kind of yeah, seems oh, like they bought six, all the six, reviews. Six. Oh my god. It's kids watching this. <laughs> there ain't no kids watching this shit, dude. They Come only watch now. the Pokemon streams. They're gonna watch what we do after this, though, that Fortnite stream. Oh, um, he, did, he did an AMA. What are no? you saying? It? Control F. There's psychic. too much shit. <laughs> He's gonna say, psychic. they're all psychic. Yeah. Duh. The women are psychic, he, idiot. He, you missed it. Yeah. You jabroni. If you, if you didn't think of that, you're an idiot. I said it in the movie. Yeah. But it was cool, too, even though when the. Um, Coroner, I guess, right? Or who was the one that was like, it was a coroner, right? That was uh, going yeah, over the dial. Like the- yeah. And he, he was like, it was, my, it was, I heard my wife, like my ex-wife saying stuff. I was like, oh, that shit's deep. Oh, yeah. My, yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. This demon don't just be doing shit, all right? He knows what he's on. He's an old one. He but then movies. I wonder, could he not get to him because he didn't have a daughter that has a birthday that is within these certain days? Who's a psychic? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 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 But... Do you understand now why I'm, like, so cool with going to the movies alone? Yeah, it was nice. I feel like, especially with movies like this, it heightens the experience. Going alone to a horror movie makes it so much harder to he get through. He just doesn't love me and, like, going to the movies with me, that's why. We have a two-year-old. No, going to the movies by yourself is, is like, super enjoyable and, like, like it's, it. like, a decompression type situation. I think it is the same as, like, when I go get my nails done for you. I think it's different, but... Okay. Well, you know how I go, I vibe with it. I go I vibe alone, with it. and I'm like, ooh, I get to relax and get my nails done. No, I do that for you so that you don't have to deal with these kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, same. Yeah. I could make you take Salem to the movies. You couldn't, actually. We proved that. When he couldn't <laughs> sit through uh, Inside Out 2, we proved that. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. I mean, it, a- anytime you're trying to do something for an extended period of time that the you need to, like, relax and focus, like, even, like, in your nose, you don't need to, like, focus in a sense, but you have to, like, sit still. It's hard to have a child with that. Like, but also, it, you do kind of have to focus, because otherwise you'd be asking for an American flag, and they come back with the USSR flag and shit, <laughs> and you're like, this is not what I asked or for. Or vote Trump 2024. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, um, I think another thing like this, if I was with somebody else, I'd almost like be like looking over, like I'd be looking at you to be like, oh my God, did you see that shit? And like, maybe I'd miss something, you know? So like, I think this, this is a real go to see the shit by yourself type of movie. Yeah. You're right. Watch it by yourself. Go to the garage, open up all the windows, watch this shit by yourself in the Have dark. some white noise in the background. Have a saw, a table saw going on in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call call that phone number. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the phone number on stream as well so that people can hopefully call it. Yeah, I didn't like um, that. Phone number Dude, is that shit. Four five eight six 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 four three five five. Hopefully you get a little bit of Nicolas Cage all up in your shit, all up in your ears. Talking to you crazy, whispering. 
Damn, um, critics think this movie is better than Alien Romulus. Totally different films. Yeah. Apples to oranges, man. Alien Romulus goes hard, though. That shit do be going hard. <laughs> yeah, but it's because it's 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 you're, it's it's you're like, action. Oh, yeah. I love it. But like... I mean, Action's I like Terrifier more than this movie as well. You like Terrifier more than this movie? That's crazy. Yeah. Terrifier, talk, I mean, those, those effects are crazy, though. Bro, are you converted now, dude? Are you like an he action, is. horror, gory type those, of guy now? He's one of those sick fucks. Now you hate Hereditary because it doesn't have enough action? I'd, I would, I might, I might fist fight you there. That might be the last <laughs> straw, bucko. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like Hereditary. I, I would need to, like, what movies are we comparing it to? But To Terrifier 3. No, Hereditary is a better movie. Okay, but, hey, okay. we just had to make sure that you yeah, weren't we lost. Yeah. You weren't out there. Um, all right, we're at thirty minutes. This is longer than Alex had agreed, anyways. So you know, I'm not trying to pay her overtime. So uh, that means Eric, what do you give Long Legs? I'm giving it a solid nine out of ten. One out of ten, James. I'm giving it a six. <sighs> That is fucking crazy. Especially knowing what your scale is, that's crazy to me. Yeah, especially well, yeah. failing. You know he did fail it. We need to. Nah. Why is there two? Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Think about that one before you ask a stupid question. <laughs> go ahead now. Alex, um, what do you give to... long legs? Well, first of all, we need to review James' contract. Cause... You got no room to talk. You are not a co-owner of this, <laughs> of this company, first I'm off. That's crazy. crazy. To one of them so that means it's that, half mine that literally means nothing you don't you gotta you no, don't gotta we vote started, we started minute, the company before uh <laughs> hey buddy i'm gonna tell you one thing i'm gonna roll up some more microphone to tell you this one <laughs> the minute you went on a two and a half year maternal leave you sold your part of the company no, to I me. Didn't. yes you did i was too busy taking care of our child you weren't doing shit <laughs> you're over there on your phone while paw patrol was playing but we're not talking about that you you don't review nobody's contract we're still reviewing your contract. All I'm saying yeah. is you can't replace my production. You can't. You just can't. You, you can't. can't. <laughs> your output, you wouldn't be able to. Now give us your damn rating, because I'm going to have to cut all this. Um, 9.5. Wow, that was so lackluster. That was, that was how James felt about this film. All right. I guess you guys are setting me up for failure, because uh, this movie's a 10 8. out of 10. 5? This movie's a 10 oh, out of 10. Oh, shit. I think this movie's perfect. I, there's so much about this movie that I love. I mean, there you is know, some things that could have been tweaked. Not to but, me. Okay. I think Osgood. I agree with Alex. Osgood, he set out, and this was his vision, and he nailed it. I mean, he he has me excited for his next film, so I'm, I'm right, I'm the right there with him. I wish Longlege would be stalking her, and she had to go on the run for a little bit. That's too much. Yeah, That's you want the black action. phone, dude. I kind of did. I kind of wish Longlegs would have abducted her and put her in a basement. And some ghost kids start talking to her. I mean, she did get abducted. Her mom knocked her ass out and left her at that house for a little bit. She had a yeah, but it was in Long Legs. No, Long Legs didn't do that. No. Yeah. It was because. I think if it was, a, I think maybe if I wasn't so jaded with scary movies nowadays, and, and I saw this like when I was like a wimp about scary movies, it would have been a 10 out of 10 scaring me. I Art. Right. Art, everybody. I mean, yeah. that jump scare in the beginning is. I'm hating. Ten out of ten. Old boy getting shot. Am I good? <laughs> I was about to give the sooner or later average score for long legs before you started talking again. I was oh, I was giving you like your our space. Our favorite, our favorite nope. part. Nope. <laughs> tell me, no. tell me you don't listen to the podcast <laughs> without telling me you don't listen to the podcast. No, that's why I went out of my way to talk about my favorite part of the movie. Yeah. Oh, my favorite part was the uh. When he's like trying to run from the cops and he's like waiting for at the bus stop and they come and get him. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so funny. It is funny. <laughs> this he's movie, just standing there. I mean, the movie has a couple funny parts. Surprisingly, I don't I mean, think the, he was the, trying to get away. It's funny. I think he was the trying to get caught. Was like, what did he say? He was like, "Don't move, motherfucker," or yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah. But no, he 100 percent wasn't trying to get away because he wanted that last interaction with her. He wanted to see Lee. He wanted to see and he Lee. wanted everyone also to like know. Mm-hmm. I mean, Lee, he wanted to tell the, a story. The, Micah, how do you say Micah Monroe? Yep, that's his name. Exceptional from, actor, dude. One of the it best. Follows. Dude, it follows still slept on to this day. I I'll go I'll go to my deathbed screaming that as well. Uh, yeah. It follows a straight fire. If, oh, you, fire. if you liked her in this movie, Eric, you're gonna love her in that movie, I'd argue. I don't like I it. I would follows. argue it. Yeah, Alex doesn't like it follows. Oof. 
But it's it's criminally underrated. I agree with you, James. Maybe we'll review it next year when we fuck up this bracket because we were in the middle of a horror movie icon bracket and Alex fucked that up. I, uh, I mean, if you he's... did it, when I asked you to back in September, you would have had all of October to do whatever you wanted to do. We, we had other four movies. horror movies. Yeah. Are you ever going to tell this guy that we're good? I Yeah. I said we're doing good, man. He didn't see that. I don't care. It's not my fault. You don't understand how we treat these degenerates in our chat, okay? (laughs) Shut up. Oh, no. Shut up. (laughs) No, you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) But what you could know is that the sooner or later average score for long legs is at 8.625, which is higher. Respectable. Higher than what most people are giving it. Uh, And what you could also know. No. Jesus fucking Christ. (laughs) Uh, Yes, it is. Terrifier Uh, got an 8.3 average. What would it be without my score? Low. 8.3. The exact same score. Oh, shit. We're yeah. good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> uh, and you know what else is good? Me thanking the viewers for tuning in on twitch.tv slash TV or youtube.com slash TV for the one night showing of Alex reviewing a movie. Um, Thanks for coming back, Alex. We appreciate you. See you next year. What's buddy? the next movie? You haven't gotten there. Next week, we're playing, we're playing scary games. Am I a part of that? Nope. Apparently not, if you're going to ask. <laughs> yeah, of course. We'll figure it out. Stop. It was, it was in the chat. We're, we got to close the fucking review at this point. Yeah, we're, I'm about to mute your guys' mics, everybody. You just fucked up my whole flow, man. This is, this is our forte. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for chatting. We appreciate it. Uh, keep, keep clicking all the short stuff. Keep watching the shorts. Uh, we're producing content almost every day. We, I got to get back on it. I fell off the horse a little bit. Um... Stick around for the awesome Fortnite TikTok. Lego stream. Oh yeah, go go subscribe to the TikTok so we can start uh, streaming over there. Uh, and until the next time, we love you guys. Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs>